Have you ever wondered what kind of electronics are inside of those disposable vape pens? I sure have. So when someone littered one on my front yard, I decided to take it apart and see what makes it tick. I actually found one very interesting component that you'll want to stick around to and I think has caused a lot of confusion online as to what it's doing. So let's start taking one apart. These charge and juice level indicators are what initially caught my eye on this device on the ground because there must be a microcontroller inside that's controlling them. With a little bit of poking and prodding and prying and even some power tools, I was able to get the device open to take a look at the electronics inside. Here's the microcontroller we are expecting and there's even some exposed pads to check out. The two pads labeled SDA and SCL are most likely to test I2C communications from the microcontroller to what I suspect is an LED driver that controls all of those LEDs we saw. Let's hook some test probes up to those pads and a logic analyzer and see if we can't sniff out some of that I2C traffic. I'm using PulseView, which is an open source software to view and capture the output of the logic analyzer. Initially, after starting the capture, there's no traffic to be seen. However, this is to be expected because those LEDs aren't actually on. Pushing the button to trigger the LED actually triggers an influx of a lot of I2C traffic coming through. Now, on its own, this traffic is very hard to decipher. However, luckily, PulseView has its own decoders built in that can help to visualize what's going on with the data. Let's add in an I2C one. And now we can actually see what's going on with the I2C traffic. If you're not familiar with I2C, usually devices are given one or a few addresses that can be used to interface with that device and its different functionality. Usually devices of similar functionality will get similar addressing and the addresses we're actually seeing here are all in the range of LED drivers. So what we're likely seeing here is the data that's actually being written to that LED driver to tell it how to control the LEDs. If we wanted to go further in this reverse engineering, we could try and figure out exactly what's in this data and see if we could actually pull out how the charge level and juice levels are being communicated. Here's that interesting component I found. Under the PCB for the switch, I saw this component that was labeled as mic. It's right by the pins that go to the heating elements. Now, you might be wondering, is my vape pen listening in on me? And it kind of is, but not to your conversations. Instead, these microphones are actually used to pick up when someone is inhaling, almost like a pressure sensor, and that way the device knows to turn on the heating elements. If you found this short interesting, make sure you are subscribed to the TCM Security YouTube channel.